Got all the hate on my last video from why the 7.3 power switch sucks, but you know what? Screw you. If you want to put on hate, you can put negatives on here all you want. I don't give a rip, but I'm just going to be honest about it um, because uh, see this pile of parts here? This is my 7.3 and uh, yep, I got to rebuild it because I can't go get a used engine because if I get a tow bill for this truck, it's not worth it. It'll cost me a lot more money than it does to have it done right, I guess, as right as you can get it. So, uh, a lot of people don't want to think their Ford sucks. And that's cool. Uh, you know, if you don't want to think it sucks, usually because, you know, you don't want to think you made a bad purchase. You don't want to think you did something wrong or whatever. But, um, in all honesty, um, they do suck. And uh, I'm going to explain to you some of the stuff that I've had wrong with mine. And even though a 7.3 is probably the best engine that Ford makes, um, the 6.4, the 6.0, I don't know that much about the 6.6, .6, but as far as when it comes that far, when the 7.3 sucks, the 6.0 sucks, the 6.4 sucks, I don't even want to see what a 6.6 .6 is because I won't buy one because the other ones suck so bad that um, they just do. Okay, so let's go over the reasons why they suck. And, uh, okay, let's talk about it. So first of all, um, the automatic transmission in Ford is just totally a disaster. Um, this is a stick shift, which is the only thing I would buy. I wouldn't buy an automatic. In fact, I was glad when this one was a stick shift. Um, don't get many choices when it comes to used bucket trucks, so... Um, but it, 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 they really do suck to shift. Um, the synchros and first go out pretty easily. They don't last even on the stick shift. So, um, oil leaks. These are the main things that have drove, driven me crazy about the Ford, as well as this cracked ass piston. piston. Um, this stupid thing right here has leaked oil. And you know, I've had to replace all the seals on that. I haven't had to do any oil leak repairs on my Duramax at all. Same mile. I have more miles on it than, than this truck. Um, <clears throat> trying to think of all the problems I've had. Well, the turbo pedestal, um, which is somewhere here. Got parts scattered everywhere. Uh, I'm having a guy help you know do this for me. He's helped me out. So... Um, Turbo pedestal, I'm looking for it. Ah, this guy right here. These O rings on the bottom, this thing comes loose because the design of it sucks. And the uh, they leak oil and cause you all kinds of havoc. So you get oil leaks, oil leaks all over your customer's ground whenever you're doing work. It's wonderful. Um, plus, uh, the design of having the turbo way in the back like that so you can't reach it and underneath this god awful thing here the dash that's stupid i don't know why they did that i mean i know why because they just want you to buy another one and i won't i really wouldn't buy a ford pickup at all if i own one i've had several and i won't, I won't buy them anymore just had too many problems with them um so i think of all the oil leaks i've had so many of them i just can't i've just kind of washed them out of my brain but um uh, you know, then, uh, of course, uh, with a stock, completely stock engine, no upgrades, no power-ups, nothing like that. I don't do that. Um, we've had three pistons crack on the Ford. And uh, if you can see, you know, there's no erosion. Uh, some guys say there's erosion on the pistons. No erosion from the fuel. For guys who put the fuel up stuff in there, you know, you punching your fuel up really high and then you get erosion problems I don't have any of that because I don't have my fuel turned up so um, but let's talk about the 6.0 and 6.4 real quick because they're much worse than this I mean this was my compromise for buying a used truck many years ago I've had this like eight years and it's only got 186,000 miles on it so it's not very many miles on a diesel um, so let's talk about the 6.0 or the 6.0, the issues with the 
They're relatively the same as 7.3, but they have a lot more problems with... I mean, there's, I, I was talking to a guy who does service work on these things, and he says the 6.0 is actually better than the 6.4, which I didn't ever... I never knew that. I always said the 6.0 was the worst. Um, but they have problems with, like, the turbo has, like, weights on it that goes out. There's just tons of stuff that go out on that engine and cause havoc, and they're super hard to work on. Um, this one's not too bad to work on, other than the dash issue, you know, to get back to the back of the turbo. Um, the 6.4, I mean, you talk about piston cracking. I mean, they actually designed the pistons too thin, uh, way too thin on that engine, and they actually blow holes in them. So that's a wonderful thing to have happen on your 6.0 uh, or 6.4. So they have that problem on those. Um, as well as um, uh, there's just so many just start researching it um, you'll find so many problems with the 6.0 6.4 that um, you should just steer clear you know buy yourself a you know but probably the best if you want a bulletproof truck I mean I have an 03 Duramax um, I have literally almost no problems with it now other than the injectors. Now people go, oh, but the injectors are so expensive and it's a big deal, blah, blah, blah. You know, if that's really the only problem you have with it, that's really not much. I mean, you know, yeah, they're expensive, but they don't leave you stand stranded on the side of the road very often. That doesn't happen usually. Um, the injector just starts to, you know, go out and then you have to replace them and they're kind of expensive. So, but when stuff like this, you know, this truck has happened, I mean, this thing's probably left me stranded more than any other vehicle. I mean, oh, the other thing that sucks, okay, the, uh, I just remembered, the oil lines here for the high pressure pump, uh, if you don't have those things replaced yet and you have one of these 7.3s, replace them before they blow up on you and just blow oil everywhere. And usually when that happens, it takes the rest of the motor out with you. Because you know, in about two miles, I went through a gallon of oil. So, Keep that in mind. Um, and that was fun. You know, that's what most of this mess is from before, um, from that oil, oil hoses blew up. I mean, I literally had oil everywhere. It was just disgusting, you know, big mess. Like I said, never happened to my 6.6 uh, .6 Duramax, nothing like that. Um, they have the Allison tranny. That's why I go with the, I go, it has the Allison tranny. So I have a decent automatic transmission. I'm not worried about blowing up. And uh, the rest of the, you know, it has its, a, it has its set of issues, but uh, in compromise, it's a lot less than the Ford. Uh, but if you're really looking for a super, super bulletproof truck, you can find, if you can find a Dodge with the heavy duty rear end, um, which they only put in a very few models, the rear ends go out really badly on the Dodge. But if you um, find one of those with the rear end, early with the 5.0 engine and the, uh, uh, the, early uh or the, the heavy duty rear end and a stick shift trans that's pretty much a very very tough truck but then you're again you're driving stick shift who wants to do that i hate driving stick after you drive this thing for a while you kind of get pissed off at doing stick and you can see that i use quality parts it's no cheapy clutch there that's a luke original equipment got japanese water pump um I'm going with the original. Actually, if you are doing a rebuild on your Ford, um, there's two different sets of pistons. I've done a lot of research on this stuff to find out. Um, there's two different sets of pistons to get um, that are Molly. And the original Mollies are the, what they have at the Ford dealer. Um, those I would not go with. They have ones you can get from Molly. Um, they have actually the, there's three sets of them. I mean, there's if you really want to spend some money, there's some of their five grand, you know, uh, forged ones. But then again, I heard that they don't have they have issues with the rings wiring out prematurely, so I'm not interested in that. But um, from what I understand, and I don't know if this is 100% true, but the Molly pistons you get from uh, Molly are actually the upgraded design, not just the Ford design. So they probably have uh, a thicker area in the middle that doesn't crack as easy as the Ford. So good old Ford, you know, they give you the 
crappy specs, so you know Molly makes the crap for them. So it, obviously Molly makes pistons for Dodge and others, and I guess their pistons are okay. I've had a lot of Molly parts fail, so I'm a little bit leery about German Molly stuff. Um, Klobenschmidt is my fan, you know Volkswagen stuff. I haven't had any problem from Klobenschmidt ever. So, but Molly, I've had a few failures. So. But other guys are saying that the pistons don't usually fail. It's not usually something that goes on. So it could be that before I bought the truck, you know, they somebody popped ether in it or something like that. Um, nothing that I know of anything about. And I've had the piston of the truck for eight years and put 30,000 miles on it. So I'd be surprised if that was the issue because I've had it that long and that many miles. So I'd be surprised if it, you know, ran with a crack piston this long and finally it fails after this much pulling this much weight that would be kind of kind of different i mean it's not impossible but anyway so those are some of the reasons of ford sucks and uh there's tons more uh, i could go on and on about the wiring and other crap that i've had problems with um, and this crappy little thing here the for the air conditioning in you know, a little vacuum pump monster that goes out hundred dollar piece and causes you problems with your uh, dash stuff um, choice of AC compressors they use garbage you know it's just everything's just cheap they use the cheapest stuff cheapest parts and then they try try and sell the truck as cheap as possible and that's what you get you know you get a cheap truck you get cheap problems you have a lot of problems with it anyway spend a little more money get a better truck if you can looking for a pickup um, that's what I do yeah, but, you know, if you got one of these, you, you're kind of stuck. There's nothing you can do. They, they only put them on Fords. They didn't put very many on, uh, I would have loved to buy a Kodiak front. But um, they were about three times as much money as the Ford used. And I couldn't find them. They're always, uh, the guys don't sell them. Or the Isuzu, they don't sell them. Nobody sells them. They keep them. So, there's a reason. All right, talk to you in the next video.